Um, hello, Keith. Um, I am unsure about exactly what the request is. Um, I am going to try to explain uh, my understanding of analysts and SMS text messages. Um, and basically the two features, um, the one that's being displayed here and the one that covers SMS text messaging. Um, and then maybe we can uh, expand upon that. Um, this recording is just um, in case someone else needed this playback and I don't have to explain it again, but it may or may not be useful. So the dialogue you showed me was uh, from the point properties messages tab where one can uh, either provide a hyperlink with an URL address um, in the content or free form. And we'll just talk about free form, which is um, probably a more common way of using it. So this is the uh, message and the message can be expanded down here. Um, try the um, primary use of this is to download this to a device such as a microlog inspector slash microlog analyzer and to have this message pop up on the device under certain circumstances such as a overall alert overall and may have hit the limit of um, as an alert. So this is limited to the environment of analyst, its database, and the data acquisition device. This tab, this feature has never been uh, implemented or designed in such a way that this can be broadcast to you to people external to the application or the data acquisition device, such as through email uh, notification. What can be done is the user can under customize contact information, set up a contact such as myself, they can specify an email address for that person. They can specify a phone number as long as they create a service provider and each service provider has their unique way of determining the gateway prefix and the gateway address. It's not just a matter of setting down a phone number, but you also have to know this information ahead of time in order to save a phone number um, in here. And you can test an a SMS text message to see whether or not you're sending this out. So the, the key component of this uh, feature is that you set up a contact and then you provide the information uh, around the contact. And you can also set up groups. So if you wanted to set up a group of uh, people, okay, we don't need that. So if you want to send up a group of people, such as um, uh, plant morning shift, 
you can add any of these contacts into this group of individuals. And where this is used is there is a way of creating scheduled events such as a alarm of the system. So under an alarm condition, you can specify what component of the hierarchy you are interested in. You can specify that on an overall alarm, you want to fire off this scheduled event. You can specify that you send a message to a group or an individual or a group of individuals. You can type in this message will be sent out when a point selected changes into an alarm condition. Point in alarm. And in doing so, this is the area of the program you want to be in if what you want is to send an SMS text and or email regarding this. But the point properties, that is a closed loop. Um, you can delegate this uh, event to the transaction service, or you can have this event be run by um, a user of the application. Most people delegate it to the transaction service, which is something that is running 7.24. So this schedule event is now set up so that whenever a point in that group goes into alarm, that message will be sent to the recipients. So the answer to the question, can a message be sent by a SMS text message or email is yes. The answer to the question, can this particular message on this particular tab be sent out? No. This particular message is set up only to be shown on the device during data collection. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, sir. All right. You Have can a good stop day. Recording now. All right. Yep. Thank you. And th thank you.